you know, I think at Cornell we we have our eyes set, um, you know, pretty high. We want to make sure that our guys understand that they're at Cornell to be um, competing at the top, to be uh, a team that can win championships, that wants to compete for championships. Um, you know, I don't think people sign on to go to Cornell and be average. Um, I don't think um, winning our conference every once in a while is a is a, is a is an expectation we're satisfied with. Um, so. I think it's an exciting place to coach. I think there's a lot of, uh, of opportunity there. There's a lot of tradition. There's some very proud people. And uh, you know, I think they want to be a part of something that they're really excited and they're really proud to see. And, um, and I think you know, that's, that's our goal for, for where we're at right now, you know, not, not making our alumni proud as much as, as doing what we know is, uh, uh, is important to us. And that's, you know, we got to have, we got to be great kids. We got to be doing the right things. Obviously, we got, you know, expectations on the field. But, you know, it, it, there's, there's some cultural pieces that are probably more important than anything else we're doing right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I, I love Cornell. I love the Big Red. I've been a part of the program. It's my fifth year now. Um, and I know the guys well. And I know the, uh, you know, the, the, the program and the alums. And um, I feel like there's a, a, a ton of potential there. And we could, you know, do some great things. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of work to do to get there. You know, it's a program with high expectations that hasn't been living up to them the last few years. So, um, you know, aside from the output uh, and what you see on game day, we've got a lot more work to put in um, off the field and behind the scenes and in the practice field and in the weight room. And um, our guys are doing that. You know, I think they're buying in and they're, and they're doing a good job. But, you know, it's, you don't just get there because you have a guy like Jeff Teed on your team. You know, you, you, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of pieces that go into it. Um, I think we've had a, a lot of changes over the last uh, few years, but then recently I think there's been a, a, you know, a number of changes. Um, I think our team has done a good job of coming together um, and embracing the change and, and, and you know, uh, taking a new direction in the right way. I, I would probably say to, um, to answer your question that the factor that would probably uh, influence our success the most would be the, um, you know, the direction or the leadership and the direction our seniors take us. and, and I think how well we do with that overall as a, as a group following their leadership. I think we've done a good job so far, but you know, I think those guys are going to be incredibly uh, important for the success of our spring season. Um, Jeff's a pretty special talent, but he's, you know, he's really a great teammate. Um, I think he works hard in everything uh, that he does. Um, he's committed to being uh, a great teammate. He's not a kid that you have to sell real hard to get him to, to, to buy into team concepts. You know, he'll, um, he'll follow your direction pretty easily. Um, you know, I think his teammates like playing with him in, you know, which I think is a, a, a tribute to the, the quality of character that he is because um, as talented as he is, he, he could probably get away with a lot more than he does, but I don't think he, um, I don't think he takes those liberties. I think he just really genuinely um, cares about being a part of a, a special group and I think he um, does a great job playing with his teammates and you know when somebody rides hard every day in practice um, as the most talented player on the field it, it sets a tone I think it's 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 important for our team that they see that